Hi, Mustafa Afghani here, CTO and a co-founder here at Pure LiFi, and congratulations on purchasing your LiFi evaluation kit. So we start by removing the lamp from its box. So let's just do that. Inside we find an LED luminaire. So we just put the box aside. What we'll find is that the luminaire has already been prepared for Li-Fi by cutting the cable quite short. And as you can see, there are three wires which we will need to uh, hook up a connector to a little bit later. We start by removing the white sleeve. Then we open the flap, put all the packing material aside, and inside we have an access point with a bracket for mounting to a ceiling tile, a cable to connect the access point to the TX box, a bracket to hold the TX box to the luminaire, um, a metal cup to mount on the outside of the ceiling tile if the AP is going to be mounted on the inside. A small bracket if you'd like to mount your AP on the outside of the ceiling tile. And finally, two connectors. The two-way connector is for DALI, while the three-way connector is for connecting the TX box to the luminaire. What we need to do start by removing the nut. Okay, set that aside. Take the bracket, put the wires through, and put that nut back on. Nice and tight. So, to connect the three-way connector, we start like so. Get a screwdriver, undo the terminals, and please consult the manual for the correct polarity, and put the three wires in. So we have the red, which is positive, black, which is negative, and then finally the bare wire, which is the shield for the luminaire. Let's put that on nice and tight. Take the TX box, connect it up. Here we go. Nice and tight. Slide that into the little slot, hold it down, and screw in that screw nice and tight. Right, done. So that's our luminaire sorted with the TX box. So what we can see is on the AP we've got a number of ports. The one here on your right is the connection for the TX box. Then we have the Ethernet port which can accept power over Ethernet as a single wire solution for both power and data. And next to it we have the optional DC power input if you don't have PoE and would like to use a DC power brick that you can purchase from us separately. And next to that we have the 2-pin DALI connector if you'd like to hook up your AP to your building management system which supports DALI. So we take the TX wire, connect up one end to the AP, just push that in until it clicks. Take the other end and plug that right into that TX box over there. Again, till it clicks into place and it's nice and secure. You can supply power and Ethernet through the PoE box if you have one. So here I have an Ethernet cable, which I can connect up to the Ethernet port. And the other end will just go to my PoE switch. So once I plug this in, 
you can see that the LED has come on to tell me that there is power. At this point, the access point is booting up and it should be ready to go in a few minutes. We can see that the AP has finished booting up because the LED has gone green and if we flip the light over, we can see that it's turned on. So this is our Li-Fi access point ready to go. So what I'll do at this point is just set this aside and switch over to one we assembled earlier. So this is what it looks like fitted into a ceiling tile. You have the lamp clipped with the two clamps, the AP in its bracket fitted into another hole next to the light, and you have the connecting TX wire and the PoE cable going to the PoE switch. Start by removing the sleeve. What you will find is that there is a QR code which includes the serial number of the device as well as the MAC address, if that's of any interest. Once again, we start by opening the flap and you'll find the station inside. Take out the station, set it aside, remove the packing material, and underneath the blue card you will find a protective sleeve for the station, and you'll also find a USB stick containing the drivers and instruction manual. Okay, so here we have a Microsoft Surface with the dongle plugged in, and as you can see that the LED is green to tell us that there is a Li-Fi link present. So what we find is that at the moment there are no wireless networks connected. So let's tap on that link. We will find that there is actually a new Wi-Fi interface that's uh, presented. Underneath that menu we find our Li-Fi XE access point. So all we have to do is the very same thing uh, as we normally do with wireless access points. Click on the SSID, select connect automatically, and then connect. Give it a moment and it should connect to the AP and the network. So at this point, it really is just like using any other wireless access point. You can open up a browser and go wherever you'd like. If you'd like to connect up your second access point, please follow the same methods as uh, I'd gone through previously uh, and just connect it up to the same uh, PoE switch or uh, network switch. This way, both APs will be enabled for handover.